Hello everybody, we are back here on Call of the Wild, the Angler, today bringing you a low level diamond guide because there is a few locations that seem to be pumping out diamonds left and right that you can go to pretty much immediately upon starting the game. These are going to be areas that uh, have smaller fish like the yellow perch, black crappie, etc. that you can catch on very, very light tackle, even the starting rods. So let's get straight into it. This first location that we're currently at is going to be over here. This is a spot that has been pumping out diamond perch left and right. Quite a few people throughout the community have been getting them. And uh, we actually just hooked into a decent little sunfish to start the day. 0.84, not quite a gold, but it is a good start. And there is our first yellow perch of the day going straight to it. Honestly, that looks like it could be a solid one. The question is, is this a big silver, a gold, potentially a diamond? We're going to find out shortly. Let's get this guy reeled up. And that is going to be... A silver, 1.23 pounds. You know, it's close to gold, though. It's definitely close. And, uh, yeah, decent, decent start to the day. Now, the rod that I'm using, I believe you have access to this setup by the time you're, like, level 10-ish. Uh, I haven't actually seen what the level requirements are for a lot of these because when this update hit that changed the leveling system, I was already past level 50. So, I didn't get to see what the level requirements were, but this is very low on the, uh, on the list. So I assume this is probably a before level 15 setup. This rod's pretty good right here, the Vizier as well as the Scope Reel. And then I've got the 13-pound uh, Mono. The Cigar Float, the Size 8 Hook, as well as the Blood Worms. It works pretty good for the Perch and uh, Crappie, Bluegill, Green Sunfish, which are all the fish that we're going to be primarily targeting today. Just keep in mind that you can catch these fish on any rod and reel setup. It's just if you're using like the very beginning starter reel that can only take two pound line. Uh, some of the diamonds may tug a little bit harder on your setup. So it's the only thing to keep in mind, but you can use literally any rod and reel. Uh, the only thing that you really need to make sure you go with is either a size eight or seven hook as well as the blood worms. And you should be fine. You should be catching fish like crazy, just like we are right now. Another green sunfish. I think what we're going to do is uh, up the hook size a little bit because we're getting a lot of small fish and I mean we're here to target the golds and the diamonds so let's bump it up to a size 7. We moved up to the size 7. I've seen some confusion on hook size uh, ever since the console release hit and a bunch of new players have started playing the game. In terms of hook size, the smallest hook you can get is a size 10. That's going to go clear down to a size 1 which is much bigger than a size 10. And then once you hit size one, it goes into a different type of hook size measurement where it goes to one aught, two aught, three aught, four aught, with four aught being the largest possible hook size. It can be a little bit confusing if you've never been fishing before, but that's essentially how it is. 10 is the smallest down to a one, and then it switches into a different system. You have the one aught, which is larger than a size one, and then four aught being the largest Hopefully that helps a little bit because I've seen a decent bit of confusion on how the hook sizing works. Your hook size selection will also determine how big or how small the fish are that you'll be catching of those species. So every single fish has a different a scaling of what hooks they will bite on at each size. For example, with the yellow perch, black crappie, bluegill, and green sunfish that we're going for today, if you have a size 7 on, only the golds and above will bite. So only golds and diamonds, which means you'll be catching a lot less fish, but when you do catch them, they're going to be much better quality. And if you want to get some silvers as well, you can go to a size 8. And if you'd like to get literally just any fish, bronze, silver, etc., go to a size 10 because that is going to get you just a crap load of fish. They won't necessarily be the largest all the time, but you can still catch those diamonds on a size 10 hook. It just means you're going to catch a lot of other filler fish in the middle of it. Well, it looks like we got ourselves a gold something going for it. I see the fish underneath the bobber. Let's go. We've hooked into something that is guaranteed to be a gold. That looks like... Is that a sunfish? It is a gold green sunfish. Let's go. That is actually my largest green sunfish ever. What a great start to the day. You know, another thing to keep an eye out for while you're fishing is uh, what type of fish are jumping in the area. Typically, whatever fish are jumping are going to be the ones that will be biting. So, if you see a bunch of perch biting, there's a good chance you're going to be getting a lot of perch to bite during that time. And also, you may just see a giant jump. I've had a few scenarios where I saw a diamond fish jump and went straight over to where it was and ended up catching it. So, 
pay attention to what fish are jumping in the area, uh, see what type of species it is based on the shape of the fish when they're jumping, and also just keep an eye out for those big ones that jump occasionally because you never know when you might see a diamond jump out of the water. Another thing that I should mention is if you're not able to get anything to bite on the uh, blood worms on the size 7 or 8 hook, then I would recommend going with a size 7 spinner if you're trying to get gold and above only, or you can go with a size 8 if you want to get some silvers as well. And with the spinner, you just want to cast straight out and uh, reel in on probably like a 1 speed. Sometimes you can go up to a 2 and be fine. Uh, just kind of mess around with different reel speeds and see what works best for you. At this particular location, the only thing that's going to bite on the spinner is the green sunfish and the yellow perch. The other fish in this area will not bite on it as far as I know, so you don't have to worry about hooking into anything huge. And by huge, I mean like bass or pike or something that's going to strain your beginning rod a little bit more than what you would like. This next location that we're at is actually a phenomenal spot to get diamond black crappie as well as diamond yellow perch. And I believe I've seen people pull really big bass out of the spot as well. So you got a little heavier rod, you might want to target some bass at some point in this spot also. But for now, we're going to be going for the crappie as well as the yellow perch. Now, if you want to be safe and not hook into the northern pike, because there is a decent bit of pike here, and if you've got a light rod the pike are really gonna put you to the test it's not gonna be easy but uh it, it can be a bit of fun if you've got a little larger setup so i would recommend that if you don't have a larger setup go with the blood worm as well as a size 7 hook and try to catch some of those diamond and gold yellow perch and if you've got yourself a little bit of a heavier setup go with the size 7 hook and the minnows because that is the black crappies favorite bait the minnows are just insane for the black crappie so if you're looking to catch big black crappie go for size 7 hook and the minnows if you want to just target the uh, perch and stay away from the potential bass and pike that might bite the minnows go with the blood worm oh i see something going for it the question is what type of fish is that it kind of looked like a perch maybe oh my gosh that might be is that a perch or a walleye it's a diamond yellow perch. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Of course. Let's freaking go. A diamond yellow perch on a size 7 hook and minnows. That is absolutely crazy. That is absolutely crazy. You know, I didn't think that we would actually end up catching a diamond while recording one of these diamond guides. It's rare that I actually get it during the time when I'm trying to record a video about how to get diamonds in a location. Usually, like, you know, I'll catch diamonds over the course of a few days and then showcase them in the video, but we actually caught one while recording the video or while recording the guide video for this location. That is crazy. Look at that massive yellow perch. That is huge. That is absolutely huge. Well, on that note, I think we should probably target the crappie as much as we can now. We already pulled out a diamond perch, so let's just see if we can get a good size black crappie. And as you guys can see, I'm just on the boat right here in the lily pads, kind of casting in the direction of these rocks or kind of off to the side a little bit. This is the direction that we caught that yellow perch in right at the uh, edge of these lilies, just a little bit into them. And man, that was the most unexpected diamond, but... To be honest, just a testament to how amazing this spot is. I've seen a total of three diamond perch pulled out of this spot in the last, like, three times that I've been here. So, it's a really consistent area. Oh, that looks to be a big crappie. I think that's a big crappie right there. It might be something else. Actually, it is. We... <laughs> We just got a catfish in the daytime. That is actually pretty rare. A catfish are nocturnal, so you typically only catch them at night, but occasionally you can catch one during the day, and we just managed to. That's actually kind of hilarious. Ooh. That looks like a big fish right there. Um, You know, normally I would recommend avoiding the pike if you're a low level and you're trying to get some diamonds in this location or the other one like pike are the last thing you want to hook into with light tackle but because that guy looks pretty big i'm gonna try and get him we'll uh see if we can manage it let's actually reel this in a little bit which brings me to another thing i wanted to talk about oh that is huge that is that is actually huge oh my gosh that is huge yep we're about to go for a wild ride 
That is a really, really big pike. Oh my gosh. Uh, hopefully this is a diamond. That would be incredible, especially on this uh, semi-light tackle. You know, this really could be a diamond pike. I, I really think this is a diamond or a very large gold pike, which is uh, kind of hilarious as I just talked about how you normally want to avoid the pike when you come here with a light setup, going for the crappie and the perch, but if this is a diamond pike location, I guess that, uh, you know, it is what it is. That's good regardless because it means there's at least three potential diamonds that you can catch in this area if we do end up getting this guy and he is a diamond. We know of two diamonds that have been caught here, the perch as well as the crappie. But I mean, if we get a pike, that's just icing on top of the cake. Now, I think this is definitely at least a gold. I mean, this thing looks huge and he's darting off again. Man, he is not making this easy on us. This is easily going to be like a five minute plus fight. Let's see if this guy ends up being worth it. If he's not even a gold, it, it definitely was not worth the time. But provided it's at least gold, this will be worth it. Come on. I, I just want to get him close enough to where we can really see him up close. When he initially bit the bait, he looked huge. But the question is, will he look just as big when we get him up close? It's hard to say. Sometimes the water plays uh, really weird tricks on you, but he seems absolutely massive. Oh yeah, that's massive. Just the width on his head is insane. This is a big fish right here. Come on. We're so, so close to having him up here. That is a pretty big pike. Oh my gosh, it's a 15 and a half pound giant gold northern pike. This area just continues to amaze me at how many good fish I end up pulling out of here. Proppy, perch, pike, all of the above. It's just insane. Now, if you're using the size 7 hook with either the bloodworm or minnow and you're just not getting any crappie, uh, sunfish, or yellow perch to bite, that typically means that that go around you just don't have any gold or better of those three species in the area. Every time you open your game, it generates the populations of fish, so there are going to be some times where there just may not be any of those fish of that size in the area. And next time you jump on, you might end up finding a couple of diamonds. It kind of just depends but these areas that we showed off today are the two most consistent places that I've seen for diamond yellow perch and also diamond black crappie along with some gold green sunfish as we saw earlier in the video so to end this video off let's take a look at a few of the gold crappie that I ended up catching in this location because it does seem that there's no gold or better crappie for me at the current moment but there has been a ton of them in the past also, before we show the clips, if you guys haven't already, consider subbing to the channel if you made it this far and you're enjoying the content. And also, leave a like and a comment down below letting me know if you enjoyed the video and how helpful it was to you, or if there was something that I could have done better. So let's get straight into the clips. Come on, everybody. Oh, fish on, oh, finally. I totally forgot the other angler news. Um, whatever day, unless it's Thursday. Hey, gold crappie. Nice. Dude, we're just reeling in the golds. That's my third gold at this spot. Hi. Today, two perch or one perch and two crappie, because it right, means doing yeah. great. That would be oh, awesome. there we go. We got something on the bloodworm. Come on, please be a crappie. Um, Come on. Then walleyes. I'm taking me out. In them, he's done. <gasps> wow. Oh, that's huge. Old crappie.